Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I am freezing. I am so cold. I don't know why, but it's super cold today in Maryland. <laughs> anyway, the reason we're here today is to go over my updates for my Sam Pan last year project. This project was created by Unapologetically Shelly as part of the Fantastic Ladies collab. I'm super excited to be doing this. All the prompts are really fun and they're based on holidays. So let's go ahead and get into this. I've got some good progress to share with you guys and maybe some not so good progress too. Let's find out. All right, so the first prompt is New Year's and as you probably know, I chose my Natasha Denona mini nude palette. I think it's mini nude. Yes, <laughs> it is. And my goal on this is to use one shade 20 times and another shade 23 times. Currently, I have two uses each on the three middle shades. So the more I use this, the more I'll kind of narrow down which two I want to be those 20 and 23 uses. But I feel like the palette will get pretty, you know, pretty average use for all of them. I did also use this last shade once and I have not yet used this one. So my money's on the middle three already. <laughs> Don't know about you guys, but it's just what I'm thinking. The next prompt that I was still working on was Black History Month. This was supposed to be a black owned makeup brand. I chose a Beauty Bakery Lippy. This is, I don't know, the shade is On The Rocks. And I wanted to use this seven times and I have finally done that. I don't know why I kept the box, but I did. <laughs> um, however, uh, this, this is getting decluttered. This is not good. It's not good. It's very chemically, um, the shade is fine. I just, it smells too chemically and I don't want to keep putting it on my lips. It tastes chemically, smells chemically. So this is getting decluttered. If you haven't already seen the spoilers, the next prompt I was working on was Valentine's Day. That is my ColourPop Secret Admirer palette. And my goal was to use each shade in here once. You know, I was struggling to use that hot pink in the middle, but I finally did it. I did it. It's done. So this is moving out of the project as well. I'm really happy about that because it was kind of a struggle for me to use this, not gonna lie. I have no progress on my April Fool's Day product. This is an Ice Cube shade by Dito. It's the shade Guilty Pleasure. Want to use this five times. I am still at two. We'll get there someday. For Easter though, and how fitting, my Here for the Cake palette from Ulta Beauty is done. So, I wanted to use every shade in here once, and I've done that. I even used a few shades twice, but the one that I was hung up on in here is this pastel yellow, and I ended up using that in a very yellow look. <laughs> um, I know that it was in one of my videos, but I really, I really enjoyed that eyeshadow look, and I was actually pretty happy with the way this performed because I don't have a lot of good luck with pastels usually, but I was really pleasantly surprised. And this is now moving out of the project as well. Next product I was working on was the Prompt Earth Day, and I chose this Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. And as you can probably tell, it is done. This was yellow, so you can see there's not much yellow left in there. I did enjoy this. Um, it wasn't like my favorite night mask, but I'm really happy that I finished it and it is out of here. That brings us up to Cinco de Mayo, which is actually coming up soon. So for this prompt, you're supposed to use each shade in a five pan palette five times. I chose my Natasha Denona Peak palette, which I have been loving, absolutely loving this. I have... Okay, this shade here, I need to use three more times. This one over here, I need to use two more times. And this one, I need to use one more time. And that is it. 
I've really been enjoying this and I'm really happy that I put it in this project. I, you know, I let it sit for a while, but it's a really nice palette. <laughs> so that's something I've been enjoying about these projects is that I'm using stuff that, you know, I've set aside for quite a while and I'm actually figuring out what I love in my collection. And this is one of those products that is now <laughs> really high on my list. Okay, last month I rolled in this palette for Pride Month. This is the Tarte Let It Rainbow palette. I want to use this six times. And as of this past month, I have used it twice. So I have used these two shades up here and these two shades down here. Who knows if I'll get to the blue green row. Mm, you know, those aren't really my thing, but so far I've been happy with the looks I've been able to create with this and I'm excited to use it some more. Next prompt is Blushing Brides and I chose my Merit Beverly Hills Cream Blush. I want to use this 15 times and I am now up to six uses on it. So I think I'm doing pretty good there. I should probably use it a little more though, maybe. Next prompt is National Best Friends Day and that is my Jouer Rose Gold Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I have used this twice and again, really, really happy with the quality. So every time I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> what is that color story? But the, the quality is there. So I will continue using that happily. We have another blush here for the 4th of July. This is my Lime Crime Software Blush in Gigabyte BB. I want to use this seven times and I have only used it once. Um, I didn't realize or I forgot that it's a cream blush. So I was like putting my brush in it and like, why isn't anything coming up? <laughs> so that was funny to discover, but I really like cream face products. So I think that will make it easier for me to continue to use. I only used it like the other day for the first time, but I think we'll get good progress on that one too. For my sweetest day prompt, I have my Tarte Sweet Tarte Perfume Roller. I want to use this one 21 times and I am up to eight uses. I've been using my Vince Camuto Bella perfume a lot. That one's in my a to Z beauty project, but when I feel like it, I throw this on and I really, really like the scent of this. It's a nice, um, not cinnamony, but it's, it's spicy, like sweet spicy. I did forget about my St. Patrick's Day prompt. That is some gold snail eye masks, um, a pot of them, and I didn't bring it in here, of course, because I always forget something but I am definitely more than halfway through that. So I've realized I can't wear them every day or I get like some tingly feeling under my eyes while they're on, but I think maybe in the next month I could get them done if I really focused on it. So the next prompt I ended up working on is Black Friday. Um, I needed a new eye cream and this is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Started using this. Um, it's not my favorite eye cream, but it works. I have difficulties with eye creams um, leaving too much gunk <laughs> on my eyes so that like I have pilling happen when I put on my eye primer. So this doesn't do that and that makes me happy and it is kind of brightening kind of in that it's a bit shimmery. So it's working fine for me, but it is a day product. And then I have a different night eye cream I'm working on. So kind of works out that way. I almost forgot a prompt. So this is for um, Halloween. This is a graveyard project pan prompt. So this particular palette has been in a different project for me. It was my pan that palette last year. Clearly I didn't pan it that well, but um, the goal is to hit pan in this peach shade up here. I have only used it once this month. 
but I used it. So there's that. So that's everything that I've been working on. We are rolling out one, two, three, four, five products with the Youth to the People mask. So five products out of the way. I still, I know I have a lot I'm still working on, but I will probably pull in a couple more things to start getting progress on them. So first up will be Prompt 21, which is Sparklers. I chose this Marc Jacobs Lippy in the shade Ch Ch Changes, and I want to use this one 10 times. I'm not sure I'll get there because it's sparkly and it's like orange and blue and purple. It's a strange color, but I'm going to put it on my desk and we are going to attempt to start using it. And the next prompt is the Dog Days of Summer. I chose the Nudes by Juvia's for that. And I want to use it 11 times. Um, have I even opened this? I'm sure I've opened this, but it is resealed. So let's take a look at it. This is a problem. I cannot keep putting products into projects if I have not ever used them before. And the fact that this is in the box means I haven't used it before. I don't like to do that because what if I realize I really hate it? Oh, it's pretty though. It's really pretty. But these two shades are really, really similar. That's a very light palette. I feel like that needs a little more depth. So the goal is going to be to use it 11 times. I'm not sure we'll get there, but man, talk about nudes. That's like peach crayon nudes. <laughs> Remember that? Peach was like the skin tone color um, in the crayon box. If you were of Caucasian descent, that's what this reminds me of. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to pull in for Latin Heritage Month my Melt All Day Every Day Eyeliner in Dusk. It's orange. You know I love orange. 15 times. Apparently I want to use this 15 times. That's a lot. Especially because I don't like gel eyeliners. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll try. We will try. So I think that that is enough products to supplement for now. I'm hoping I have some more products finished next month. We will see. But wish me luck. I um, have a lot of eyeshadows that I have usage goals on. And I don't know when I'm going <laughs> to hit those goals. But I'm enjoying this. Like I said, I'm really enjoying getting to know my collection better. So yeah, so far it's been good for me. If you guys have any comments about the products I'm working on or what you think of my progress so far, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, you could always subscribe to my channel. It would be great to have you along for the journey. All right, guys, I will see you next month with my updates on this project. Bye. All right. So the first prompt is New Year's. And as you know, I chose my Natasha Denona. Oh gosh, I always forget. 